We all have thoughts that make us feel upset from time to time. But sometimes these thoughts aren't helpful and they can affect how we feel and respond to a situation. There is a skill you can learn to help turn those upsetting thoughts around. It's called Catch It, Check It, Change It. In this story, you'll meet Addison, who is learning how to catch, check, and change their thoughts. Follow along so you can learn too. It's Friday. While most kids look forward to the weekend break, Addison isn't feeling very happy or excited about much of anything these days. In fact, Addison is making excuses to not hang out with friends. Kennedy wants me to go to his house tonight to play video games. I'll just tell him I'm not up to it. And Addison is pushing family members away too. Hey, sweetheart. Is everything okay? Everything's fine, Mom. Please leave me alone. Ever since high school began, it seems like all of Addison's friends have begun dating or have a boyfriend, girlfriend, or someone special. And dating seems to be all they ever talk about these days. Hayden and I have been talking for like a month. OMG! Well, me and Danny have been going out since October. Addison is feeling left out, disappointed, and really sad. Addison is even having trouble concentrating at school, and their grades are starting to slip. Addison's sadness is also affecting how they think and causing them to lash out. Hey, Addison, have you seen my water bottle? Get out! I don't have your water bottle. Addison can't understand why they haven't had any romantic relationships and comes to a conclusion. No one wants to go out with me and probably never will. I'm unlovable. Can you relate to Addison? Thoughts run through our minds all the time. Some thoughts are helpful, while some aren't. When we don't meet our expectations, we often put ourselves down in a harsh or critical way, like, I'm a failure, I'm stupid, or in Addison's case, I'm unlovable. Those thoughts are common. However, not everything we think is true. If we treat our thoughts as facts, it can be a problem when they're based on incomplete information or when they're not helpful. Unhelpful thoughts can affect our mood and make us feel sad, angry, frustrated, or depressed. They can also affect how we act. In this example, Addison's grades start to slip and Addison pulls away from friends and family. Instead, think of your thoughts as one of many possibilities you'll see that there are many ways to view a situation. In other words, the way you see your situation may be different from how someone else sees it. You might not be seeing the full picture. There is a way you can turn your unhelpful thoughts around to be more realistic and helpful. It's called Catch It, Check It, Change It. Let's learn how it works. First, catch it. When you're sad, angry, frustrated, or depressed, stop and ask yourself, what was I just thinking? This can be hard at first, but will get easier with practice. Addison catches their thought about themselves. I'm unlovable. Next, check it. Ask yourself whether the thought you're having is helpful or not. Addison, is it helpful to think that you're unlovable? Not really. It makes me feel more upset and lonely. Like Addison, if your thought is not helpful, 
Move on to the last step. Change it. You can have control over the way you think. Once you notice that your thought is upsetting you, you can change it by looking for another that's more helpful. Addison, why don't you give it a try? Okay. What's another way you could think about this situation? I can't think of anything. Well, what would you say to a friend going through the same thing? Sometimes it's easier to think of helpful thoughts for others than for ourselves. I'd say, just because you're not dating anyone right now doesn't mean you never will or that you're unlovable. Your family and friends love you. Try to focus on enjoying the relationships you have right now. You've got it. That's a better way of thinking about the situation. It's not easy to change your thoughts. Catch it, check it, change it takes daily practice. But practicing this skill will help you develop more balanced and helpful ways of thinking. You might still have unhelpful thoughts, but you'll be better able to manage them when they do happen. As a result, you'll feel less upset and act in ways that make you feel better. You can do it! Now that you've learned the steps for catch it, check it, change it, explore other skills in this series that can be helpful to you.